Hello paper crafters, today I'm going to share some gift ideas, they are phone booth themed and I'm also going to create some custom wrapping paper as well as the gift tag. The idea is that the gift wrapping should match the gift itself, so let's get started with the tag. To create the tag shape I'll be using the second largest of the double stitch tag dies by Poppy Stamps. There are also matching frames available and uh, I will be using those as well. I'm placing a tag die over the folded piece of cardstock. This is Nina Desert Storm and I'm making sure that the top cutting line sticks outside the edge so that it won't cut through. This way we get a kind of a top folding card and this allows us to write the message inside. My idea is to create a variety of uh, different font textures for this tag and for the background I'm going to go with some heat embossing. I have covered the entire tag front with Versamark ink and uh, I'm covering it with the embossing powder called Verdigris. This is actually a mixture of several different embossing powders that creates a very realistic patina look. If you are interested in the supplies that I'm using, check out the supply list on my blog as well as in the description. The next fun material I'd like to introduce is the cork. So I've die cut uh, the tag frame out of self-adhesive cork sheet. Because the cork sheet is uh, rather thin, I'm going to um, stick it onto the cardstock base. This cork tends to be stretched while die cutting, just as the fun foam does. But that's not a problem, I'm just going to clip the base layer apart and I'm going to stick it down like that. Next I'll be attaching some mounting tape to the frame. To cut the white tape into narrower strips, I have attached it to a piece of um, non-stick paper and this way it's um, very easy to cut and it doesn't stick to scissors. You probably know that even if you are using non-stick scissors, uh, the tape starts sticking to them anyway over time, but uh, this way you can escape it. Before sticking down the frame, I'm attaching a loop made uh, out of um, hemp twine to the top of the tag using some hot glue and then I'm attaching the frame on top of it. Then I'm going to set my tag aside for a while and uh, create the focal image. I'll be using a scrap piece of red paper and this die that is called um, Cute Phone Booth. It's also by Poppy Stamps. The image is now die cut, but before releasing it from the die, I'm using this die as a stencil to add some black archival ink. For this project, it's important to use uh, some kind of uh, permanent ink. I'll explain you later why. I'm applying some liquid glue at the wrong side of the door and I'm sticking a strip of acetate to represent glass. Then I'm going to stick the red paper die cut on top of the cardstock base. This base layer will give some sturdiness to the image and it will not be warped when I will be applying the glaze. This small die is called rotary phone, it's also by Poppy Stamps. I've die cut it out of glossy black cardstock and now I'm assembling the image with a little bit of liquid glue. I am attaching a foam square at the wrong side of the phone and uh, now I'm finding the right position and sticking it down onto my background. As for the phone booth, I have added one layer of foam tape at the wrong side of it and I'm adding three layers of foam to the door to keep it slightly open. Then I'm peeling off the liner and attaching the phone booth to the tag right on top of the phone. You can totally leave the booth as it is, but 
I have decided to add one more finishing touch to it. So I'm applying crackle accents all over the phone booth. And this is the reason why I used permanent ink for stenciling. If you use water-soluble ink, the glaze is going to pick up some of it, and uh, it will end up looking a bit smudged. But that's not going to happen if you are using any kind of permanent ink. Now I'm also applying some crackle accents over the door, and then I'm going to let it dry overnight. So this is what crackle accents look like when just applied. And this is what it looks like next morning when this medium is dry. It's really shiny and has nice deep cracks. To create the sentiment, I'm going to use the same glossy cardstock that I used for the phone. I have treated it with anti-aesthetic powder and now I'm going to gold emboss the phrase just wanted to say hello. This sentiment is from the stamp set called Call Me. After I heat set the sentiment, I can remove the anti-aesthetic powder with a baby wipe. I have trimmed down the sentiment strip to the size of the tag and now I'm going to attach it using a little bit of hot glue. I'm positioning it closer to the bottom of the tag and just slightly pressing it down until it sticks to the place. As a finishing touch, I'm going to attach three decorative bronze gears to the top of the tag, again using some hot glue. The hot glue is perfect for dimensional pieces like these and it dries instantly. So this is what the finished tag looks like, but you are probably wondering what you can actually do with the phone booth tag. Well, since those booths are quite iconic, there are lots of goodies out there. For instance, those tin boxes are great for loose tea or ground coffee or spices, and this is actually a piggy bank, also shaped like a telephone booth. Any of those could make pretty little gifts. I'm also going to create a custom wrapping paper for those gifts. I'm using a regular craft wrapping paper that I got at the building supermarket, and I'm just adding some stamping to it. I'm using the two hello stamps, one is solid and the one is outlined. I'm using both of them just to make things quicker. Also, I seem to have lost my small acrylic block, so I'm using the large one. Again, I have used Jet Black Archival Ink by Ranger. Now I am applying a little bit of double-sided tape to one edge of the paper and wrapping the box just as usual. When I'm done with the wrapping, I'm twisting some hemp twine around the top of the box and attaching my tag. That finishes my project for today. I think that this kind of wrapping will also do great for cell phones, not only for telephone booth souvenirs. Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a wonderful Easter weekend! Bye!